entertainment. I don't know what you mean. Doc, turn on the radio. Turn it on. This broadcast will bring you a special news flash. The war is over in Europe. The war is over in Europe. Germany has surrendered unconditionally to the Allied armies. The surrender was signed in a schoolhouse in the city of Reims. I would remind you that there's still a minor skirmish here in the Pacific. I'll miss that, too. But this is the greatest day in the world we got to celebrate. How about it, Frank? Yeah, Doc, we got to celebrate. What'll it be? Alcohol and orange juice or orange juice and alcohol? No, Doc, that's not good enough. No, that's not good enough, Doc. We got to think of something to lift this ship right up out of the water and turn it around the other way. Doc, Doc, I... You're going to blow your lids when you hear this idea. Oh, what a sweet idea. You said I never finished anything I started. Oh, boy, you're wrong. Tonight I started something. I'm going to finish it. Frank, wait a minute. What is it? A firecracker. We're going to heave a firecracker under that old man's bunk and bam, bam, bam! Wake up, you unpatriotic old slob. It's V.E. Day. Frank. Doc, did, did you ever see such a hand-painted, hand-packed firecracker in your life? Oh, Frank, that's the most beautiful firecracker I ever saw in my life. But will it work? Sure, it'll work. Well, I think it will. Haven't you tested it, Frank? It's got to work. It's just got to work. I'll take it down to the laundry. That's my laboratory. I got all the makings down there. If this one works, I can make another one in two minutes. Okay, Frank, take off. We'll yeah. wait here for you. Be sure you got enough to make it loud. Yeah. What do you use for powder? Powder? This ain't no pop gun. It's a firecracker. I used fulminator mercury. I'll be back in a minute. Fulminator mercury? That stuff's murder. Do you suppose he means it? Ah, of course not. Where would he get fulminator mercury? I don't know. He's pretty resourceful. <laughs>